<laughs> that is awesome. That is so much better than I thought it was going to be. This is the best iPhone so far. The iPhone 15 Pro Max. Sky is clear, moon is gone. Let's see how good it is. You may have seen the first video that I did on the uh, astrophotography or low light photography for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And uh, we had a lot of moon that night. So with the moon comes a lot of light pollution. Light pollution with phones, astrophotography, don't go together. So now the moon phase has changed and the sky is clear, we'll see what we're going to get. So what we're going to need is a phone, obviously a tripod, a phone holder on a tripod. That's going to give us 30 seconds. When you put it first onto the tripod, it's going to show you 10. And then give it a second, it's going to give you 30. I say this over and over and over again, but I know you're going to ask me anyway. Because look down in the comments if you don't believe me, someone's going to ask about how to get 30 seconds. Trust me, they're going to. Earlier today, I worked out the composition that I'm after. And I've got a gum tree coming up this side just here. And there's a few trees on this side here as well. This, the, the Milky Way or the galactic core is still in the air a little bit. So we're shooting on a reasonably high angle. And what I'm hoping to do is one of two shots, or probably do both of them. One is I'm going to silhouette the sky with the trees and the other one is I'm going to light the trees. It's pretty windy, so I'll show you a technique that I use to keep the, the trees nice and frozen uh, in a windy night when we're taking this sort of photo because over 30 seconds it's going to blow around a little bit. All right, let's take a photo. Here in the camera, we've got it on a tripod, as I said before. I'm going to turn that flash off because we don't need that. Now, hit that arrow up the top there, and we're looking at this yellow icon down here. That's the night mode. Touch that, you see there it's got five seconds. We'll go all the way to, to the end, it gets a 10. Give it a second, there it is at 30. That's it, we don't need to do anything else. We're gonna to touch the shutter button and let it take a photo. They talk about this phone being two times better. We shall see, we shall see. Here we go, we're nearly done. Let's have a look. <laughs> that is awesome. That is so much better than I thought it was going to be. This is the best iPhone so far. And you know what? They've done something here. Apple's done something here that I haven't seen them do before. There's no star trails. Apple is renowned, the iPhone is renowned for star trails. Yeah, a little star, a little line behind it because the stars are moving through the sky. They've done something and it's so much better. I'm really impressed with that. You guys have got to see this. Sorry, I had to tell... <laughs> There's a, there's a group of us who look after the uh, Facebook page, the Bloody Legend Facebook page. So if you're into photography with your phone doing this sort of thing, head over there to Shane Moston Mobile Photography, Bloody Legends Facebook page. We share lots of photos there. And there's a group of admin guys that I talk to on a fairly regular basis. And I just know they're going to be impressed by that. So I thought I'll, I'll just send that to them real quick. And uh, they'll, they'll be super excited, I bet. Anyway... I'm blown away by that. That's the best iPhone photo of the stars I've ever seen. So what we'll do now is add a little bit of color and uh, texture and definition to the trees that are right there. And because it's windy, I can't just use a torch because the leaves are blowing around. I want to freeze them in, in shot. And I've got a tool for that. This is the Godox V1S Speedlight. I use this for my Sony cameras when I'm shooting um, uh, professional work. Any Speedlight is going to do what we're about to do. With Speedlights, with, with the difference between a Speedlight and a torch is that a torch, you're going to shine it for a period of time. And while you're doing that, the leaves are moving. So it's going to be a blurry sort of a photo with the leaves. With a Speedlight, it gives you a pop of light, super bright light. Uh, which is uh, dimmable, so you can adjust how bright it is um, very fast, like tenths of seconds or hundredths of seconds even. So we'll take the same photo again. I'm going to turn this light on and we'll leave it at 1 16th power and uh, 
I've got this diffuser on here, so I'll probably pop it once that way for the tree that's in the top corner of that side, and once this side for the same thing there, and we'll see what we get. Oh, by the way, I, I can't record this because this camera just won't see this popping. Just trust me, it's going to go pop like this, and then I'm going to do it again. But you're not going to see it when I'm taking the photo, but just trust me, that's what's happening. You know, in fact, I would say, looking at that photo, um, I'm going to edit it a little bit. Um, I don't think we need to edit it that much. There's not that much haze there. The iPhone's done something else here that... Why don't they talk about this more in the launches? Because that is better. When you don't have... Um, you don't have all the uh, uh, star trails like you've always had. Um, why don't you make a bigger deal about that? I don't get it. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll just edit up one of these real quick and uh, I'll post it up onto shamemoston.com. You can go over there, download it, have a look at this, look, do some pixel peeping because I'm telling you now, there's no star trails. Apple has done something here that only, only really Pixel has done really in the past. They've, they've lined up the stars, it looks like. That's a bit of a game changer. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll catch you later.